be found out any second now. Okay, let's see now. Let me... So yes, this is it. No, 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 wait, wait. I need to think about this for a second. Um, right. If I go to the left, the power will... Wait, wait, wait. If I see three, she will turn, magic will converge. Yes, that's it. And so in a nutshell, if we pull this off, I'm absolutely sure we can finally escape from this dreadful place. Oh, well. First, I really hope it's better than your first 50 ideas. Digit and Piff will stop midway to the sides. Digit to the right and Piff to the left. I'll count to three and then we all switch positions and converge to produce an unexpected magical impact on the wall. But will the movements be coordinated and elegant at least? Uh, oh. ah! Shh, quiet, someone's coming. <laughs> Who could that be? I wonder. Hmm. By the horrible creature? Uh, the phoenix, yes. Luckily, though, I was able to escape through the window of my cell. Oh, no, you didn't. That's much too dangerous. How is Piff? Is she okay? Yes, she's fine. You must have been so worried about her. After all, she is your bonded pixie. Piff, this is no way to greet a visitor. Look up. See who's there. She's glad to see you. At least I think. Thanks, Digit, but there's no time for chit-chat. You are going to be able to get us out, right? I'm not sure how, but I'm not leaving without you guys. I'm too weak. I have no strength left. Oh, I think the lock is on that wall. <gasps> then... Maybe... Drain some of my power, that's all. We should get out of here quickly. But our wings are covered with that disgusting tar and we can't fly. Everybody ready? Yes. This is no way for a pixie to travel. How undignified. I won't be able to climb like this and I'm too weak to fly. Let's find the stairs. <sighs> So, the girl dares to attempt an escape from my fortress. Worthless pixies, you think you are safe with her? But how wrong you are. <laughs> and as for you, pesky little fairy, I will stop you with my shadow monsters. Dwellers of the shadows, heed the summons of your master. <laughs> your prey is heading for the main entrance. To the girl, do what you want, but I need the pixies alive. <laughs> the main level. We'll be able to get outside from here. Stand by, everyone, while I switch on my data glove, which will enable me to determine... Oh, a power failure. Hmm. I think that's the exit, but my magic is getting weak, too. That's right. I feel so drained. I can barely speak anymore. That reminds me, did Rain, you know that... this isn't a good time. We'll chat later, okay? Ugh, I got all dirty. 
have the strength to stand. Hand over the pixies! Never! I won't let you have them! I find your meaningless bravery tiresome. But no matter. Time to pay for your mistakes, girl! <laughs> should be too weak. It's not so easy to beat a fairy. Isn't it? Goodbye, fairy. No one can survive a fall from this height. <laughs> I don't know, where could they... That's hey, good. there's Tecna! 2.54 meters still to go. <laughs> Kiko, look, Musa is busy with the sound check. She sounds great! Hey, Musa, have you seen Flora? Yeah, she's with her flowers, of course. Hi, Flora. This place looks amazing. You've outdone yourself this time. You think so, really? You want some help? That's all right, I've got everything under control. Oh, uh, well then maybe Stella needs some help with her chores. You seen her? Last I heard, she was off to do something of utmost importance. Oh, what now? It fit when I tried it on in the store. Why did these things happen to me? Stella, oh. are you okay? No, I'm not. Oh, what a mess. Now be a friend, come and help me out. Stella, what happened here? Mm. Mm. Look, it took me over two hours to pick the perfect dress. Oh. <laughs> now I find it doesn't fit well, so I take this other one, but I think I wore it already. I beg you, Bloom, help me! Stella, how can I help you? You're the fashion star. Or do you need my magic fire to tidy up your room? That is not the problem! Look, I've got to go help someone who really needs it. Bye! No, don't go! Stella, your outfits are fine. I really need your help! Whatever you wear, you always look great, trust me. But it's been so long since I went to a party with Brandon. I totally forgot which dresses he's already seen me in. <laughs> well, since nobody needs our help, we'll just get busy with these peanuts. Huh? What was that? Hey there! Aren't you a cutie? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. What a nice little magic pet you are. Come! Hop on, little guy. Hey, come here! Gotcha! Oh. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Hey! Huh? Hey, wait! Hmm. I don't think I've ever been here before. Hmm. I'm not sure where I am, but I think I'm getting near the Southwest Tower. Oh, I bet he went down here. Where is he? He must have gone through a wall. Hmm. A door. It would be about here. for yourself? This place is incredible. I mean, the Althea Library is nothing compared to this. I wonder why I've never heard about it. That's because no one is supposed to know about it. Look at you. First you torment my pixie hippocampus, and then you sneak into Althea's forbidden magic archive. I'm trying hard to wrap my head around this. I am the Pixie Concorda, and these two magical animals are my friends. How cute! No, it's my job to take care of the magic archive for Farragonda and to keep out nosy students. Should I leave? Well, you could at least introduce yourself. My name is Bloom, and I got here by accident. 
But hey, what's a pixie? My dear, we pixies are beings of magic, and we often help fairies fight evil and perform their spells. You help fairies? Yes. In fact, some fairies and pixies form deep connections, a bit like falling in love. Then, the two become inseparable, like twin sisters. Really? We refer to this as bonding, and it's a very special thing for a pixie. I wish I had a pixie of my own. What about you? Are you bonded to Farragonda? Oh, no, no. Oh. I am bonded to this archive. Don't you get lonely bonded to a room? No, not me. Besides, I have magical animals to cheer me up and keep me company. They are called pixie pets. They live with us and lend us their talents. Wow. Oh, no, the time. What's wrong? Big trouble. I'm going to be late for the party. Then go now. Your friends, they must be waiting for you. We're back again. We've got stories to tell you. We're back again. Come and join our adventure. Don't miss a chance to live The again. party is starting. No, this is ridiculous. What could be taking Bloom so long? I'm sick of waiting already. After all, I'm the one who's supposed to be fashionably late. Coming. Huh? <laughs> Sorry I'm late. And not a minute too soon. What happened to you? Are you okay? Yes, Flora, but I think I just shattered the land speed record for changing clothes. Thanks, Kiko. How do I look? Is my hair okay? Can I say something? Sure, it's the skirt, isn't it? Oh, I tried Hold to... still a minute, hon. Huh? I'm the fairy of beauty for a reason. Listen. <gasps> Recognize that sound? It sounds like the specialist. Hurry up, Stella. Hold on! You can't rush perfection, you know. They're coming! Where? Who? When? That's funny. I'm sure I heard something. Me too. Could we both be wrong? Hey! There they are! Sky! Go! Brandon! Oh, what a jerk! Riven almost hit them. Maybe. He was showing the guys a new maneuver. <laughs> Hi. Aw, oh, come on, Sky. You're the one who said you wanted to make a splashy entrance. <laughs> Sky, are you okay? Of course. Besides, a smooth landing would have been a little bit too predictable, don't you think? Hmm? Oh. It's Timmy. Hey, girls. It's great to see you. Welcome back to Alfia, Timmy. So, you guys come all the way down here just to see us? No, we came just to see you, sunshine. Looks like they're about ready to start. Let's get going before we miss something. Students, professors, welcome. struggle against the army of darkness, a lot of work needed to be done to restore our school to its former glory. And if we were able to do so, it's largely thanks to the brave efforts of one fairy in particular. Bloom, would you come up here with me on stage, please? Oh, well, Bloom, that's great. Yeah, yeah you go, Bloom. They're waiting for you. No, hang on a second. Oh, yeah, that's more natural. Now you're ready to go and bask in the spotlight, girlfriend. No way! We're the Winks! We're all in this together! I could never have done it without you guys! <laughs> you mean it? That's right! We're all going on stage! <laughs> Here, hold this, would you? And now, I declare the Althea School for Fairies open! I hope the whole school year's gonna be like this. Me too! <sighs> Tell me the location of the Pixie Village. You are not authorized to access our data. <laughs> really? Uh, hey, leave my friends alone, you bully. Uh, Very well. Uh, uh, Excellent. I can already feel the strength of your powers. Your magic is mine. Now then, it's your turn. Uh, 
I'll go through you all one by one until you tell me where your village is. That's where you've hidden the Codex, isn't it? Leave them alone! Now speak! Or suffer! Blue, you're very quiet. Is everything okay? I'm fine, Sky. I just had a little adventure. What? There was trouble and you didn't call your neighborhood Prince Charming? Well, not every adventure involves monsters. What happened? Well, actually, it's a funny story. And I kind of promised not to tell anyone. Hey, am I just anyone to you then? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of it all, she had on this absolutely horrendous t-shirt and it was about three But I have a feeling this will be the year when I finally learn the truth about my birth parents. Well, you can count on the specialists really, to help I mean, you. Did you see her outfit? That red hat made her look like a fire hydrant. <laughs> 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 look who's here. Care to tell us where you two have been hiding? Techno was showing me how to calibrate the simulator. Uh, yeah, right. Do I even have to say anything at this point? And yet, you always do. It just wouldn't be Stella if she didn't have the last word. Hey, it's getting late. We need to be heading back to Red Fountain. Hey, Blue. Yes? Something's wrong with the trees. Bye, guys. What are you doing? Where are you going? She's fine. She's just exhausted. Come on, wake up. Come on, come on. Ooh, what is that? Hmm, it looks like a pixie. It is. It's a pixie. But why would she have a pixie? Who is this girl? What could have happened to her? Worthless pixies! <laughs> Time to pay for your mistakes! Foolish girl! Hand over the pixies! Never! The pixies! It's not so easy to beat a fairy! Isn't it? You are so weak you can barely stand. But no matter, tell me where the pixie village is or else... Never! Never! No one can survive a fall from this height. Ah! Goodbye, fairy. It's been four days, but she'll wake up soon, I'm sure. <clears throat> all right, if we're gonna stay up with her all night, let's talk about important stuff. You think she's got a boyfriend? Wouldn't she rather talk about Brandon's girlfriend? And who is Brandon's girlfriend? You are, Stella, remember? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the sun will be up in exactly 12 minutes. Oh no, none of us has slept a wink. How will we stay awake tomorrow? You mean today. Don't worry, let's just sleep in. It's the first week of school. Classes are optional. <laughs> yeah, sure, Stella. Great way to start the year. Fine, fine. Bedtime, ladies. Enough talk about boys.
Don't worry, Bloom. She'll be fine. It's hard to believe, isn't it? These gentle folks were once hardened criminals. I don't understand why they're allowed to walk about freely. We believe in rehabilitation. This isn't a prison. Maybe, but these people have had more freedom than we'll have in our entire lifetime. But can't you see what peace and meditation is doing for them? I don't think it's working for everyone. You speak of the three witches Lady Farragonda sent us. Yes, they keep shouting day in, day out. They've not made any progress since they've arrived here at Light Rock Monastery. They'll never be rehabilitated. Brother, no one is beyond redemption. This is the third time we've walked straight to the horizon to end up back where we started. Oh, this is totally useless. We'll never get out of here. <sighs> If only our magic worked here, we'd be out so fast! I'm beat. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, children and seniors. And now, here is Brother Titterus from the Light Rock Weather Station. The forecast for tomorrow is clear skies with a soft breeze from the northwest, with temperatures hovering around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The same scenario can be expected for the next several years. Thank you very much, Brother Titterus. And now, back to our music program. Uh, enough! Ugh. I'm going to obliterate that loud speaker. It is vital that you should not only stop performing evil acts, but also that you should banish evil thoughts. Mm -hmm. Remember, no nasty thoughts, no mm. evil deeds. But Mr. Dixit, you taught us to hate violence. We never behave improperly. No, Darcy, listen. I hate all that simpering. What a pity you had to meet us, sweet little fairy. Give it up, Bloom. You're struggling in vain. <laughs> this is it. Nothing can stop us now. <laughs> Stormy, do you see what I'm getting at? Yep. I'll disconnect you then. Is disconnect more positive than obliterate? That's good, Stormy. You're making progress. Do as you wish. Anything is possible here. Now the news. Ah! Welcome to Hope Conquers All, Light Rock's hourly ah. news segment. Our top All story. Right. There Two must be an off switch. Who have been captured by poachers were returning to the it? sea this morning near the ah! coast of city. Shut <laughs> up! Stormy, weren't you listening? Anything is possible here. Uh, 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 and now, let's take a moment to enrich our minds. Uh, oh. Unbelievable. I still hear it. Where is it coming from? <sighs> oh. Leave us alone! Ew, I swear when I get out of here, I will be meaner than ever. I know what you're thinking. Wouldn't it be nice if all the things in the universe were good? Well, that's not the case. Furthermore, 
That's not possible. Because huh? in the universe, oh. there is no light without darkness. When a form of energy is created, it produces an opposite force, equally strong. Observe. Hmm. What do you see? Oh. Professor, you're showing us nothing. <laughs> <laughs> see? What I did was, I captured some of the light that was in the room, but it only shows its power in the darkness. It's polar opposite. As I mentioned at the beginning of this introductory class, the existence of good energy results in the creation of an equal amount of evil energy. Normally, these forces are balanced, but sometimes balancing needs a little bit of help. A dynamic energy between the dominant force and the recessive one. Bloom! Oh, yes, Professor? I am well aware that this is a review, but you will need to know this for your new classes. Yes, I'm sorry. Can you tell me what is missing from my diagram? I think... Stella's got earrings that look like that. <laughs> <laughs> In theory, there is a third and even greater energy which manifests itself in special situations. Hey, she's waking up! that which day this is. Yep, hmm? and she got it right, too. Makes sense. Wrinkles show the unstoppable flow of time. Except for me, of course. I wonder what her name is. We don't know yet. Is she okay? She doesn't look so good. Don't worry, young ladies. Your friend is just a little pale around the gills. Look, she's waking up again. Uh, where am I? You're safe at Alfia School. You had a dream. You were looking for Piff. You know Piff? Where is she? Tell me, is she all right? Please tell me. Don't worry, everything will be okay. <gasps> Piff is your bonded pixie, isn't she? Mm. Fairies and pixies can bond like sisters, right? She was the first thing on your mind as soon as you woke up. And here she is. <laughs> Piff! Thank goodness. I dreamt about you, baby. But in my dream, you suddenly left me all alone. Lunchtime, here we are! Stella, don't shout! No, no, come on! Oh, please, don't cry! Um, Stella, you're losing control of your sandwich. What? Hey, welcome to Alfia. <laughs> so this is your school, am I correct? Yes. I'm Musa. And I'm Flora. My name's Bloom. I'm Stella. My name is Layla. And I couldn't save the pixies. The pixies? How many are there? Uh, a village full. A village? Oh. And you live with them? Well, not exactly. I'm a friend. You're a friend? Hey. And? Girls, quiet. We shouldn't bother her. If she wants, she can tell us everything when she feels better. Thanks, Flora. I'm sure Farragonda will want to hear your story. Hey, me too. This is good gossip. But it would be dangerous for you to get involved. Whatever's going on, maybe we can help. Here, drink this. It'll help you get your strength back. Thanks. 
It all started a little while back. My family and the Pixies have always been close. Every year we go to their village to visit them. But this time the village was empty. The Pixies were off to the dark woods for a nature ceremony, and only Lockhead and Blinky made it back with news that the others had been kidnapped by terrible shadow creatures. The Pixies tried to protect themselves with magic, but it didn't work. And so by following the trail of tar the creatures had left behind, we discovered where the Pixies had been taken. The trail led us through dark tunnels until we came upon a huge underground castle. And then we met something with superhuman power, the master of all these evil creatures we'd encountered. And? <gasps> what did it look like? It was a huge bird, a sort of phoenix, monstrous and evil looking, and then it transformed itself. I saw it turn into something like a man, an armored knight with ultra-sharp claws! You silly girl! Stop this foolishness and hand over the pixies right now! Oh no! Did he hurt you? He caught me in no time. Then he drained all my strength away. He took Lockhead and Blinky and threw them into magic cells with all the other pixies from the village. Are the pixies still alive? The pixies... There are only a few left. I was able to free them, but then I, I tried to bring them with me, but I couldn't. Oh, I should never have left them. Come here. <laughs> we'll help you, Layla. We'll free the pixies together. You can count on us. Kebab! Have you retrieved the information? What? The Codex is in four parts? Are you sure? You fool! I know the Pixies are hiding one of the quadrants, but where are the other three? Magics, of course! The schools! <laughs> Brother Shimo, the path to knighthood that we disciples must follow is long and difficult. Indeed, Brother Cacophonics. <laughs> Holy Light Rock! Where did it come from? The clouds are a dimensional wall. Oh, Romeo. Oh, Juliet. Wherefore art thou, <sighs> Romeo? To be young and in love. <sighs> in the shadow of the beech trees, quiet cradles me through the morning breeze. The petal has come off, it's floating in the air. <sighs> Girls, if we don't show some enthusiasm, they'll never let us out on good behavior. No way. That's beneath my dignity. Hmm? What's happening? I don't know, but I like it. Yes! Something wicked is in the air. Oh, my. Are you? No questions. You are now serving the forces of evil. Am I ever pleased to hear that? I can't believe it. We're free. Huh? That light was unbearable. So are these silly clothes. Huh? There! That's the one! This way! Oh no, the Templars! <sighs> Take this! <laughs> Curse you! They're immune to magic! 
they're immune to your magic. <laughs> Multiply your power. Prove your worth to me. All right, girls, let's get them. Optical darkness. Yes! Oh, she's blinded us. Use your ears. Remember your training. They just don't know when to quit! Hurricane! Hmm, with these Gloomics, it'll be easy to get the Dragon's Fire. Fools! There is much greater power to be had than the Dragon's Fire. Greater than the Dragon? Yes, and it will be mine just as you three are mine! <laughs> this place drives me mad. Bad feeling. Yet you're still very weak. Well, now, so you're the Pixie's friend. Uh, do we know each other? My name is Farragonda. I'm the director here at Alfia. I visited your father many years ago, but you were too young to remember. You really do look like him, though. Lucky me. In any case, the Pixies have always said good things about you. Piff, have you seen her? She was flying in the garden, and I think she fell asleep in midair. Aww. What? Which way is it to outside? Uh, that way. Thanks. My, what a willful young lady. She forgot her clothes. <sighs> oh, no! <sighs> yes, answers to the homework. Good. <laughs> Is she 
from. Strange. Magic is based on the principle of inconsistent continuity, and so there is no direct cause-effect relationship between the... <gasps> <gasps> Report to the director's office straight away, lass. And so, after the underground river carried me outside, I managed to run all the way here through the dark forest. Do you have any idea why the pixies have been kidnapped? I'm not sure. I've been wondering that myself. Maybe he wants to blackmail them, or maybe he's trying to get something from them. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of, especially since our enemy's ability to absorb magic is dangerous. Do you know him? Do you have any idea who or what he is? Hmm. Headmistress, please. If he is dangerous, you have to tell me. The pixies are in trouble. Honestly, I'm not sure who this enemy of ours is, but we will find out. And no matter what, we must find the underground entrance and free the pixies. That's the bottom line. My dear girls, as you may have guessed, the reason I've asked you to come here is to organize a rescue mission. As you know, fairies and pixies have always been the closest of friends, so we must free them at any cost. At any cost, huh? Does that mean we get to skip classes and still get full credits? After everything Layla's gone through, can't you think of something other than skipping classes? Well, actually, it's just that if it's such a dangerous mission, why not send the professors? Hey. Oh, what? No, no, that's all right. Stella has raised a very good point. <laughs> As professors, our job is to guide our students, and in case of an emergency, we have to be available to help everyone. Hmm. So, in other words, it's up to us to turn this prince into a pauper? You've all shown great skill in the fight against the tricks. However, the pixies are your priority now. It is not wise to challenge an unknown enemy. So we should avoid direct confrontation? Exactly. Don't forget, this dark knight absorbs magic energy. That means he can turn our powers against us. Layla will be your guide. She's the only one who can find the entrance to the cave. I want you to look for clues that could help us discover the identity of this evil creature. Now, follow me. Now, I'd like to point out that some of you will not be taking part in this rescue mission. But we do everything together. Yes, and no one gets left behind ever. Each of you has powers better suited to some missions than others. Would you send a frog to live in a hot, dry desert? I wouldn't want to be the poor frog. I'd dry out in about 1.4 hours. You don't have to worry about that, Tecna. You'll stay at Althea. Excuse me, but her techno magic will help us monitor the situation from here. Bloom and Stella will go on the mission. But why only us two? Yeah, why? <laughs> because Bloom possesses the dragon's fire, the strongest magic of all, while Stella's sun magic will be very helpful should they ever come up against the shadow monsters. What about Flora's plants, my sound waves? Aren't they worth anything? Come into the hall, please. Wait here, girls. What is she doing? Nimbus Phyrex Oriere Sinje Fathas! Musa, Flora, use your spells! Ready! Nothing is working! There are no living plants down here! But we still got sound! Everyone stand back! <sighs> oh no! Uh, it's echoing! Uh, oh no! The vibrations are causing a cave-in! Cave 
really like that? Wow, that was even better than the computer-controlled simulator. Musa, listen to me. You're just as important as your friends. Your powers will be needed soon enough. Now that's better, you'll see, Piff. When I come back, I'll have all the pixies with me. <laughs> Layla, take these special seeds of light with you. Do they have magic powers? Huh? Yes. In an emergency, they will drive away any kind of shadow creatures, but only once. Well, girls, are you all ready for your mission? With only three fairies, I don't think it will be sufficient. A small group can move quickly and is much less noticeable. And besides, they're not going alone. Yes, the specialists! No fair, you two get to have all the fun! I'm very happy that you come to help, Saladin. It's my pleasure to answer your call, Ferragonda. I will lend you two of my best Red Fountain specialists, Skye and Brandon. No, right! Stella and Braddon? Bloom and Sky? Goodness gracious, what a coincidence! Layla, looks like you'll have to play chaperone. Mmm, you mean that love is their specialty? You can say that again, cutie. Are you the new girl? Uh-oh, he heard me. Well, girls, are you ready to go? Layla, you'll be riding with Riven for now. Ready when you are, big boy. Hmm. Come on, get on. Who says you get to drive? Uh huh? What, you think I've never ridden a motorbike before? Go, oh, Layla! Layla! Let's get Catch you later! Come, my dear fairies. They will need our support. So, who's the bad guy this time? Dunno, but we heard he's pretty tough. Yeah, but the specialists can tackle absolutely anything. You should see all the cool stuff we got for this mission. Rope, grapplers, techno magic gear, and this. Guys. It's so cool. Look, it's a demoleculizer T29. Dema demoisturizer what? Kota Torta, our teacher, says we can actually use it to pass through walls and other solid objects. Uh, Brandon? Timmy, show the girls what the owl's new engine can do. Sure! <laughs> Woohoo! 18 dragon power, titanium frame, what a dream machine! Excuse me! Yes, Layla? The enemy's the other way! Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. well, we knew that. <laughs> Is it working? Affirmative, but it's going to take a lot of work to keep track of them in the caves. I hope they come back soon. There's the valley, and that river is the one I used to escape from the cave. Uh, this is where I should drop you off then? No, it's easier to get inside through the old mines in the cave. Then let's go. Oh, uh, is this the spot? Yeah, that's where the tar monsters went after kidnapping the pixies in the forest. There's no place to land. You're gonna have to jump out while we're airborne, guys. Fine by me. <sighs> Come on! Everybody out! Oh, no! Everything okay? Was that something important? Yes, my makeup kit! Forget it, just slide down the rope! 
<laughs> Must admit, for once I missed school. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Bye. 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 Follow me. This is the way in. Oh, they've gone in. I've lost video feed. I hope I can keep GeoSense in contact. Sky, I know you want to save batteries, but give us some light back here. We can't see a thing. Uh, 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 no! That's it. I had it. I'll deal with it myself. Wings <laughs> Give us light! Uh, well, I think I liked it better before. At least I can see where we're going. But now, we're a beacon for the monsters. Huh? Uh, guys, I don't know what that is, but let's get moving! I remember this gate, but it was open before. It's locked! Leave it to me! No good! The gate absorbs magic! Our enemy thought of everything! Except the specialists. It may be protected from spells, but all locks are made to be broken. Guys, we've got company! Ah! We're back! So, uh, how's the mission going, guys? A bunch of unknown signals are closing in on them from all sides down there. We're going to warn Faragonda. We're right behind you. Brendan, maybe you can open it with Riven's lockpick. No, I'm gonna blow this thing open. Girls, buy me some time! It's up to us. Let's all transform. You mean you're a... Of course I am. Good to have you on our team. Thanks. <sighs> All right, let's go. That won't hold them back forever. See? Forget about the clunky flashlights. My scepter's the only way to light up a room. You may be the light of my life, but a good flashlight saved me more than once. Layla, you sure this is the right way? I don't get it. We should have reached the crystals by now. Crystals? Sky. Huh? Uh, wait, Sky. Huh? Help me. Uh, uh. Bloom! Uh. Stella, what's uh. going on? I can't stand up. Stella. Stella! Bloom, is everything all right? Uh. 
Yes, but my my powers are so weak. Uh, oh, what just happened to us? You transformed an hour ago. You've been in fairy mode too long. I guess this doesn't just happen to the fairies from Andros. And our powers? You'll be fine. Just lay off the magic for a while. Now let's keep moving. We have to find the pixies. She's a stubborn one, all right. Well, we'll just see how long that lasts. <laughs> At last, the crystals! Yes! It's not far now. Come on, let's go! It's at the end of one of these tunnels. Let's go down this one first. Layla, wait for us. Where are you going? I'm gonna go down that way. I'll catch up in a sec. <sighs> wow. It goes on forever. Finally, we made it! Down there, look! We've got to get down to that level. Hey! Hey, girls! All these tunnels are connected. No matter which one we take, we end up out here. Brandon, we really shouldn't let ourselves get separated, you know? Huh? Brandon, watch out! Ready? 